Hi everybody on this Monday morning. Are we all awake? I hope so because here comes another video for you. This is going to be my empties video and my Ulta box and it's all empties. Yay empties. Coming at you again. I'm just going to reach in my magical little box and show you what I got. Yay. Aussie. Sun Touch Shine. Hi Ho. Hi Shine. Hairspray for lackluster locks. Maximum hold. I don't really like the max. I mean, I like try to get things that are not maximum hold, but this is what they had, and I took it, and it didn't leave my hair crunchy, didn't leave it anything. And this is what it looks like. So I do like it. Uh, this is my third bottle. I have two backups already of this, and I plan on purchasing more when I'm down to my last can because I got two more left. And this has a nice grapey smell. So there we go on that. And the other thing I've been uh, it's all used up. My boyfriend used it and so did I. But he used more of it than I did. The new Carmex Healing Cream used to help repair the dry surface skin. He used it on his hands because he's a diabetic and his hands get so dry. You know, because he hasn't found a diabetic um, one from Gold Bond yet, so he used this. And it's not greasy, he said. I say the same thing. I used mine on my elbows and knees the most, you know. And I did use it every sometimes on my legs, but it's gone. And I will be purchased again. It was affordable. Carmex has some wonderful products, and I love it. And we'll continue buying their products. And the other thing is that I used up is the Body Shop Banana Shampoo. Cost eight bucks for this. And the thing about this is, I think the packaging changed. Because when I went online, the packaging was white and not like this green color that this is. And I've read some reviews that it's thinner. It's not thick like this one is. And But it still smells like bananas, they said. Like a, it's not it's like not a real banana smell. It's more like a... I say it smells like real bananas. But some people say it's like a fake banana smell. But it really did make my hair... It really cleaned it and got in there and made it a little bit... I don't know, I made it just to give it a little bit more volume, but I didn't want volume, but I liked that it cleaned and it got in there and did everything it's supposed to. I still have like maybe about this much, maybe about this much all the way down to the end of conditioner left in my conditioner. So I will be repurchasing that and we'll see what happens. When it's over, I'll repurchase them again. And the other thing that I have is the Tresme Deep Clean for All Hair Types. Now this stuff is great when you have like build up in your hair of all hair products you've got you know hairspray you got gels in it you got mousse in it you got you know your oils that you put in your hair all that stuff and it just to get in there and it really cleans it. and I use this once a week my son loved it I don't know why but he wanted to use it so he was able to use it and it really got in there and it cleaned it's very affordable I get I think I paid like under five bucks for it but um, I will repurchase another one of this because it really gets in there and it really cleans I love Tresemme products. Any Tresemme products out there, I will gravitate to the most, you know, if at all possible, and if they have what I'm looking for, because I love this stuff. And the next thing, my boyfriend again had me put this in Dial for Men Ultimate Clean Hair and Body Wash. He did use this for his body. He did try it a couple times for his hair, but it said it just wasn't. He didn't like it for his hair, but it does have a smell. You know, a manly smell to it, and he really liked it. And it does leave your skin squeaky clean, is what he says. So, there. And then, um, I have two of these, which is a Super BB Cream Whitening UV Protection SPF 25. Now, this, I did not like this one at all because when I put it on my face, after a little bit, my face kind of like was white casted. Like, it just like felt. I felt like I was more paler than I should. I felt like a ghost. I did look like a ghost, in my opinion. You know, some people, I did have one person sit and I thought I was getting sick, and I wasn't. It was just that. So I'm glad I'm not buying This was only a sample. And then I have another one, the Diamond Collection. This one here, the BB Cream. I do love this one, and I will repurchase this again if I ever see it down the line in, in a bigger thing. I've seen it on eBay. Or not on eBay, um, Amazon, not eBay. Saw it on Amazon, but it's a little pricey, but I do like it. It's nice. So I will repurchase those. That one, not the other one. And then...
the most infirm baby brightening and wrinkling cream. Now this is all gone. I got this in the Ipsy bag. It's light. It's really nice. I mean, it, it it's nice. And it, I like it, but it just wasn't my color. I liked how it applied. I used a brush, I applied it, my stippling brush, it was really nice, went on. And after a few seconds, I'm like, way too dark for my skin. No way. But I did like it, and I will repurchase it if it's in a different light is what it was. So I don't think it gets any lighter than this, but I did like how it looked on my face. It didn't make it oily. I only had it on for a few minutes, but I could tell it wasn't going to make my face oily. So, other than that. And then I got the False Express Maybelline Mascara. I think you all know, what, a lot of you know what this looks like. See, it's all dry. I mean, it's all... So, I mean, it's all gone. I just will be one I'll repurchase on and off. So, I'm happy over that. This is all gone. The Blistex Moist Melt SPF. Um, look protects the sunscreen. This is all gone. I've used it every day, you know, and it's just can't squeeze any more out of it. It looks like there's some in there, but there's not. It's just stuck onto the inside of it. But I do like it, and it does make you, you put it on, and you just rub your lips together, and it beads your mouth into your skin, into your lips, and it's really nice. Now, will we purchase that again? And I have this, which I'm sad about, because I am not spending... 50 to 65 dollars for another one. <clears throat> Regina Anti Agent Moisturizer Elegant with Argonic Acid or whatever the heck it's called. But this right here. I loved it when I got it for Christmas. You know, it's all empty. See, not, not a single thing in there. You know, it does have a very pleasant smell. I love smelling the jar when I opened it up. You know, and I used it. It took me a month to use this. And once I got done in a month, I'm like, ha. Oh. I looked it up online. It ranges from 50 to 65 dollars. And if that's what it's going to cost for a larger bottle, not a small one. A large one, I won't be able to get it because that's way too much. But I did like it and I did enjoy it. And I'm glad that I got it for Christmas because I saw a difference in my face. Made my face less oily. Made it soft. You know, how with um, my um, brown spots. I have like two brown spots and it helped it a little bit, you know, diminish it and all that. And the other thing is the Juicy Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive. I wasn't too, I was like, eh, on this because the reason I say that is because it, I, it was gel-like consistency. You put it on your face after, it says put it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I put it on for 15 minutes and it just, it really didn't do anything. And this is what, the jar is empty, but see. And it really, I, and then you go, you can't peel it off. You have to actually just wash off. I feel like if it's supposed to be a peel, it ain't peeling. It just, I felt like it didn't do anything. It left my face a little bit cool. When you put it on, it made your face cool. And you took it off and your face was just like soft. And that's about all. Really didn't do anything else. This is all gone. The Vanilla Sherbet Flavor Lip Shine. This is by H&M. This is H&M up there. I used this. I loved it. And sometimes I put it over my lip, you know, sticks or, you know, lip balms or whatever, you know. But it, it was really nice. It, the smell was good. And the price, it was, I paid $8 for this. But it was well worth the $8 because I had it for like six months, seven months, somewhere around there. So, I mean... If H&M has more, I might consider buying more because they're decent. This is sticky and gone all at once. This is seven bucks. It's called Hot Coconut Beauty Rush. Um, there's still a little bit in there, but it's like it's hard to get out of the tube. So cause I've had this for two years, and so I'm like, oh, I gotta go because it's very less than half in this. I mean, I can't even get the. I mean, it's very. Say I can't even get what's, see? <clears throat> can't even get anything out of it. I mean, there is some in there, a little bit, and it smells so, I love the smell of it and everything, but when I went to go check online, they did not have it. I went to the store, 
couple months ago. They don't have it. The lady says the lady I talked to said they don't think they carry this kind anymore, but they do carry the rest of the brand of uh, Rush Beauty lip glosses, and I was disappointed. And one thing that I had, I used it, but then I just didn't really care for it that much. This is Avon, and don't know don't know the name of it. But see, I have this much left. See all that see and it's this is what it is see but the thing is it's like a burgundy red or something like that I guess you call it but the thing with this is I've had it for two years and it just pulls on my lips a little bit so I'm wondering if it's starting to dry out and I just don't want anything happening to my lips because I'm using a product that's been over two years so I'm going to just throw it away. And the one thing that I have here I do not like. And it's the Colgate Total Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. Everybody used it in the house. You know, and I don't like it. You brush your teeth. And then not maybe within a couple hours after you brush your teeth, you got like a dog breath. It's, it's nasty in your mouth. The aftertaste is nasty. My boyfriend said it was okay. It didn't really whiten his teeth that much. My son said it just tasted funny when he was brushing his teeth. He didn't like it. So uh, I'm going to tell you right now, when I repurchase this again, I like Colgate, but not Colgate Total. It's just something about it I didn't that much care for. It's just the aftertaste. You know, I felt like it did help remove tartar on my teeth. It did do that. Um, I learned that it really didn't whiten my teeth. I didn't think it did. You know, my boyfriend said it didn't do it on his either. He said he would use this and then he would use mouthwash just to, you know, it's just doggy breath is what I call it. And he said, my, my son would say it's nasty. And my boyfriend said it wasn't the best. Don't buy it again, please. So I will not be buying this again. So this is a total <coughs> So other than that, I hope you all like what I showed because I liked what I showed. And I got another video I'm going to be doing in a few minutes. They won't be uploaded the same day, but I will be doing another video. So, I hope you all liked my empties. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye! See you on the other side!